Please. Can we all stand? Uh, for those of us who can stand. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here with you this afternoon to close your conference and to meet you as true friends who commit to make a difference to the livelihoods of people living with disabilities. Knowing that this is the fourth Pacific Regional Conference on Disability, I feel that the journey till now must have been challenging with a lot of successes to base best practices for people living with disabilities. There would have been areas of concerns but all in all, it is the passion to assist people with disabilities that shine above all. The Fijian government appreciates the funding support provided by the Australian government for this fourth Pacific Disability Forum. Furthermore, I thank the organizers for the faith they have had to stage this meeting in Fiji at such an exciting time for our region. I also thank the contributions of the other stakeholders, without whom we would not have come this far. Your timely assistance has become the face of this year's theme for this conference, Partnership and Action Towards a Disability Inclusive Pacific. The theme expresses the two key elements towards disability inclusion. The many efforts of stakeholders, ground level planning, and true solidarity works wonderfully to bring out success. A lot must have been achieved in this forum in terms of expert presentations, panel discussions, side events, and all. All in all, with disabilities, people with disabilities must be included in road to approach towards self-reliance. They need to be recognized as people that can make a lift to our society only if we uplift their talents and skills to improve their livelihoods. Each nation, ladies and gentlemen, must see that the inclusion is not just a policy or a dialogue or policy intervention, but rather a concept expressed in improved livelihoods for people living with disabilities. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen at large, is proud to have this responsive network with all our Pacific neighbors and partners, which have always brought us together to facilitate a worthy cause such as this. I do understand that we all are committed to remove the discrimination and elimination of violence faced by men and women living with disabilities around the region. My ministry, the Ministry of Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation, has been working very closely with the Fiji National Council for Disabled Persons in running a separate administrative body to cater for the needs of women and men with disability in Fiji. The ministry provides a sum of $290,000 per annum to the said council for administration purpose. And I can assure you, in the next year's budget, as the minister, I will push for a higher allocation towards this course. The council, ladies and gentlemen, the council has been conducting trainings and workshops for the disabled persons. It is under the guidance of the council that we have managed to put together a national disability policy. The Fiji National Disability Pro Policy provides a framework and guide for all governments and non-governmental agencies individuals, families, and communities throughout the Fiji Islands so that we all work towards creating a society that reflects the deepest respect for human life. The Fijian government is genuinely committed to have a barrier-free society in Fiji through legislations which provide 
equal rights to all men and women with disabilities. Our commitment is to provide a framework for addressing disability in Fiji and develop a more inclusive society, create greater awareness of the needs of the people with disabilities and identify priority areas for actions to dismantle barriers, hindering the full participation of people with disabilities in the social and economic life in the Fiji Islands. Similar sentiments could be found in the new constitution which enshrines the central principle of common and equal citizenry. Section 42 quotes, a person with disability has the right to reasonable access to all places, public transport and information. The Fiji National Disability Policy recognizes that women and men with disabilities have fundamental human rights and that it is an inherent component of economic growth and development. It recognizes that ethnicity, disability, religion, and gender often intersect and create a multiplicity of sources of discrimination. The Fijian government wishes to achieve building a society in Fiji that demonstrates respect for all people by dismantling barriers and building institutions and structures that are inclusive and allows people to participate fully and equally. All the progressive laws and decrees, including a separate disability policy that we have to date, have been achieved under the Prime Minister Beni Marama's leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, in this new development agenda, in the new world that we are building, people with disabilities must be included. To ensure this and to guarantee that they are not left behind yet again, the future developmental goals, targets, and indicators must be inclusive of persons with disabilities. Within our means, we have connected to support certain NGOs dealing with disabilities to supplement our annual grant to FNCDP. Certainly, we have invested in the facility new initiatives to create employment for people with disabilities. The Ability Shine Center and the National Sewing Center are good examples of investments for disability in Fiji, and I'm sure in future, we can invest in more initiatives such as this. I have, as a minister, proved for employment opportunities for our disabled members. And in my ministry, we have already employed one. That is just the start. The Fijian government turns promises into reality, and the inclusion of disability in our development will bring out measurable success in times ahead. I close with a plea to all today that we need to walk with solidarity and with a caring heart to ensure we carefully address the many challenges of people living with disabilities. Good communication still needs to be pursued to materialize disability inclusion in all sectors. Our society will be measured by what it does for the disadvantaged. Collectively, it is inspirational to bring joy and comfort to the disabled persons. If our hearts ignite to make a difference for the people living with disabilities, then the road to inclusion will happen. Inclusion is being truthful and mindful to our promise to people with disabilities. On this note, I'd like to thank the organizers once again for the invitation and allowing me to share the Fijian government's commitment towards a better quality of life for all Fijians with disabilities. Allow me to conclude by echoing the similar sentiments that our Prime Minister mentioned during the opening of this conference. Of course, I quote, we, have a, we still have a long way to go, but the government is determined to not only continue with its commitment to improving the lives of people with disabilities, but also to extend the services we provide to more remote parts of the country." Unquote. Before closing, I wish all my Pacific brothers and sisters a very safe travel back to your lovely homes and countries. I am sure the knowledge and connections you have gained to date will power you to do more for people with disabilities. With these few words, it is my honor to bring the fourth regional foreign on disabilities to our closure. Thank you and God bless you all.